That's okay. I have. Oh. If you don't mind. Perfect. Right. I'm Brenda Kennedy. I'm the Vice President of Canine Health and Research for Canine Companions. I'm Dr. Emily Bray and I'm a postdoctoral researcher with Canine Companions. My name is Dr. Theodora Block and I'm the Research Program Manager here at Canine Companions. I'm Laura Douglas. I'm the Research Assistant at Canine Companions. And this is Dolly. She's a study puppy participating in one of our larger uh, nutritional studies that we're doing. And she's also been part of our puppy cognition testing. I was really excited to join the team recently and to start understanding the scope of research that Canine Companions does, because I was amazed when I found out between the different collaborations with external universities, along with other companies, and it spans such a big range of helping the dog's health as well as understanding their behavior. To be a service dog, they have to be absolutely extraordinary. So along with the impact of the external research, we also do a lot of internal research as well, where we use data to understand our dogs, their behaviors, and how we can best support them moving forward. I do a lot of our cognition research um, with everything from puppies to graduate dogs to the dogs in professional training. That basically just means we play fun games with them from their perspective. And what that does for us is give us a window into how they think, how they problem solve, and ultimately if they're going to be a good service dog or if they need to go on a different path. Are you ready for your kibbles? Let's have some fun. We have a lot of different cognitive games that we play with the puppies. Uh, and with each of them, we're trying to get at a different domain of cognition, so a different type of problem solving. So for example, we have our social cue tasks. And that's where we're basically looking to see if the puppies can understand the communicative gestures that we're giving to them. So basically, what we found is that even at eight weeks old, which is what Midas is today, they are able to follow a human point at above chance levels. So it shows that they're able to use our communicative cues in the same ways that you know a human toddler can. On the whole, eight-week-old puppies are able to follow our point at above chance, but they don't do it every time. And some puppies are amazing at it and others can't do it. And so why? Um, and by looking back at the pedigree information, we can determine that at least part of the reason is due to the genetics. The other interesting thing that we found is that they're not learning to do this throughout the task. They're actually above chance on the first trial. So I think one of the really incredible things about our research is that it allows us first to look at what are the traits that are linked to success, and then when we can also add on this heritability component and see if there's a genetic basis, that is gonna allow us to breed for future generations of more successful dogs. Industry-wide, these findings have implications, not just for our program, but for any service dog program. I mean, ultimately what we're looking to do is to be able to identify the dogs that are gonna be most successful as service dogs, so we can place more with more people. That is really the crux of what we wanna do. And along the way, we also want to have dogs that are healthier, that live longer, that are smart, and that are good at the tasks that they need to do. We're really looking at our research from a lot of different angles. It's not just about looking at what the dog's success is. How does a service dog help a person with PTSD? How does it help a child or a family of a child with autism? I'm really proud to work on this research team because our research helps people with disabilities. And we're leading the industry in research, um, but we're not only using that research to help ourselves and our program, we're publishing that research so that other organizations can also use our findings and we can all serve more people with disabilities. 